Big Sound 2012. You were up there. We we bumped into you yep. a few times. Uh, how did you? Th- how, how, what did you think of it this year? Well, I, I mean, I've got the lucky to be also associate programmer next year, mm-hmm. so I'll be working with which, Asho and Denise. Which was announced, yes, at the yeah. st- just before uh, Steve Earl did the uh, kick. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, I, so it was really interesting for me. I was there for air. I was there because I'm an artist manager, and I was there looking at everything, thinking of what's great about this, what can be improved, and what would I do. Yeah. Um, so. For air, it's great. We have, a, you know, we have an indie labels panel. Um, we also have a, a, like a locked room, independent labels meeting where we bring in people like PPCA and YouTube and you know people that are doing serious business and adding to indie labels revenue streams um, to talk very frankly, openly, and honestly about the way indies should be doing business or the way that these companies should be doing business with indies. We don't let press in, so it can be. The idea is that you can be honest and forthright and you can say whatever the hell you think. And those meetings are always great. Um, in terms of the bands I saw and the artists that I met, you know, um, like, uh, you know, I, I couldn't list them all, but I can tell you my highlights. Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. Um, if you want to do that. Yeah, I mean, um, Money for Rope were amazing and probably, like, a bit, uh, you know, underheralded. They, they played a killer set. Um, I loved Oh Mercy's. I think they're great live these days. Like the new, the new set is awesome. Um, Violent Soho were awesome, and Courtney Barnett, of course, was wicked. Um, yeah, they're my highlights. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, there were so there were so many yep. good bands yep. there. Uh, uh, <coughs> mine, uh, just just to throw out a mention yep. to a band, I had Strangers from Sydney and uh, and, and the Gooch Palms were <laughs> like just. I still don't know what to think of that, that band. Goose, I did see Goose Farms on Friday night, actually, <clears throat> the day after um, at, at Alumbra. Yeah, well, that um, was actually a little more tame. Was it? Than the, okay. the set I saw pre- okay. previous nights. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, they're definitely an artist to keep an eye out for. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Dallas Frasca was good as well over at, uh, okay, okay. Over at the Country Showcase. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, I missed it. Yeah, no, that's... Oh, uh, look, I mean, you can't get to everything at those things. And uh, that's... that's that. I guess that's a... You know, a testament to how good the programming is up there yeah. as well. It's just that there's so many good yeah. bands clashing. 120 bands across 12 stages. It, yeah, it's it's pretty insane. Mm. I mean, it's a lot of music, um, and you know, 800 delegates this year, and I think it's going to keep growing. Mm. How how are you feeling about going into the uh, the joint role next year? Are you, is it a bit bit nervous? No, I, I'm <laughs> not nervous next year. I'm nervous about the year well, after. Well, uh, so, when you take it on yourself. Yeah. So I mean, I get to work with a pretty awesome team. Like one thing I think. You know, it's it's almost like a dream job in that I have a whole lot of opinions about the music industry and I have a bunch of heroes and I have a great sort of bird's eye view through air about what happens in the industry. And then I can basically go, well, how would I curate an event which is going to both teach people, inspire people, you know, and, and that sort of turns me on personally too. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you do that, you reach out to these people, but Q Music has this amazing sort of infrastructure and team that actually make it all happen, you know, make all these venues work and, and book the flight, like do actually the real, the real leg work and grunt work is yeah. done by them. I mean, it's like, I get to sit there and come up with great strategies and ideas and they're the ones that put a lot of it into action. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It was also good to see country music get its, its first nod this year as well at, uh, at, uh, up there. There was a lot of great artists and when you look at the artists across the, I, I just, I wanted to have a chat to a lot of the country artists yeah. and, um, Man, there's just some massive credentials behind the the country artists that played up this year, and and you just you just there's not a lot of notice on them at the moment. But I'm glad Big Sound did that because there should yeah. be more of it. Yeah. Well, I think I mean it's like a self sufficient industry. Like it's, absolutely, it's, yeah. and it's funny because I think that dance to a certain level does the same, and hip hop does to a certain level, and they're probably areas all three uh, that have been underrepresented in previous Big Sounds. Mm-hmm. But you know, I think that's an acknowledgement that especially the alt country thing and the, the and and their kind of roots country is growing and growing and growing in Australia. You know, last year at the at Jägermeister Independent Music Awards, we had he, um, Henry Wagons or Wagons won an award. And um, at the time, you know, I mean, that's an acknowledgement that the independent community is starting to go, well, hang on, there's some really great hip artists doing, like embracing this country music. And it, it, you, you know that's growing. It's becoming mm. bigger and bigger. There's sort of blogs dedicated to it and... Um, and yeah, just the whole country and also bluegrass thing seems to be growing in Australia. It is indeed. Now, uh, the panel that you had a, 
that, that you had a chat on the, yeah. uh, the the state of independent music or the independent, yeah, the st- yeah yeah the state of independence yeah yeah, so, yeah how was that it was good what did I, you bring from that I um <clears throat> actually thought it was going to be difficult because the labels on that panel were great but um the topic's so broad I mean where do you even start yeah um but you know I suppose I I could have sat with those guys for a whole day or week and just spoken like really got into their opinions I mean you know it, t- it takes a lot of time and energy and money to run a label and these guys are dedicated to it and actually succeeding doing it and that you know um ARC and Transgressive from the UK have amazing rosters and, and quite varied rosters too and then um <clears throat> you know Ben Howe from New Zealand um with Arch Hill kind of one of the premier labels over there and, and has a built a real, um, you know, a real history in, in what he's, in his involvement over there. And same with Stuart Coop, Laughing Outlaw has been around for 20 years and released, I don't know, like 200 albums. Mm. These guys are like true believers in independent music and it's kind of, it's just awesome to be on a stage with them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so w- w- it was really just, w- just a lot of, uh, was it really just talking about a lot of support of independent music rather than discussing no. Where it is because I mean it's in a pretty good position independent music well, as it is right now. In some way, it depends how far you look at it. Yeah. I mean, like you said, it's a broad. <coughs> it's a broad yeah, subject. so like certainly in terms of the quality of music and and that sort of stuff, it's great. But there's a few parts of the industry which are really uh, very difficult for an artist, uh, so for an indie label. And one of them, one of the key ones that we also deal with a lot for Air. It's one of the reasons that Air exists. Is you want sort of parity with major labels. I mean, you want to be getting the same amount of money, uh, same amount of royalties for indie music as you do for major label music. Mm-hmm. Because it's, you can't say that, say, Adelita, being an independent artist, is worth, her music is worth any less than, say, um, uh, I don't know, Jessica Malboy. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not. It, it, they both have their strengths and weaknesses, but in the end, to say that Jessica Malboy is is worth more and that you'll pay more for it just seems ridiculous to me and we want to make sure that every independent artist gets the same rate as what every major label so that's one of the, the issues because mm-hmm. um, generally people businesses the um google's apple's streaming services everyone of this world generally try and get independent content for cheaper because there's not as much bargaining power so that's one issue the other one is what we call access to market and it's saying it's way harder to get your music at the front of JB Hi-Fi if you're an indie artist. It's way harder to get a brick on the front page of iTunes if you're an indie artist. It's way harder to, um, uh, you know, I don't know, um, to, to get played on radio, to, to plug to radio. Um, all these things are about access to market and that is a real challenge and will get even bigger challenge because, you know, major labels are buying into like distribution services and stuff like that. I mean, I don't know how far we want to go, but the the, deep, the deeper you dig, the more parts of the music industry are owned by major labels. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's almost impossible. There's very few options if you're an indie label for getting your music um, on every digital service without somewhere along the line needing the services of a major label. So along the way, they take a distribution fee on their own competitors' music. And, I, you know, that's something that we want to fight against we want to make sure that if you want to be truly independent you can you don't have to touch other people along the way mm-hmm. yeah excellent well nick i'm not gonna i'm gonna keep you for too much longer <laughs> yeah. uh, you are general manager so you've probably got a hell of a lot of things to do yeah you'll be running around a lot of catching up after big sound absolutely yeah. well you, you know it's always the week after that's uh that that's the brain teaser but yeah. um Mate, uh, thank you very much for your time, and uh, hopefully uh, we can see you at the Jägermeister Independent Music Awards, and yeah. keep an eye out on the uh, Jägermeister Independent Charts as well, and everything that's happening at uh, Australian Independent Record Label Association. We'll see you at Big Sound next year, hopefully, oh, and uh, we'll be there. and uh, we'll leave you alone Big Sound the year after because you'll be in a bit of pressure. Maybe we'll chat to you before we get there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks very much, Nico Byrne here from uh, Air. We'll talk to you soon here on Industry Insider.